Oh, hey there, people. How the freak is it going today? <sighs> Freaking get a uh, notice last night when I got back from fishing on my door from the hydro company that they're going to be doing some work in the neighborhood between... Where the hell is it? I accidentally tore the tag. Yep. Power interruption. In order to make improvements to the electrical system supplying your area, we must interrupt your power between the hours of 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. July 28th. That's today. We apologize for this inconvenience in case of inappropriate weather. This interruption will be changed to, and they don't give a date. Please note this interruption will affect a bunch of shit. Your patience and understanding is appreciated. If you have any questions, give us a call. I gotta tell my boss now that between 1 and 2 p.m., I probably won't be available. Maybe longer, because hydro companies are stupid and tend to take a little longer to do things than they ask. Fun. Also, I am making another super pancake because yesterday's was such a good idea. Why not replicate again? Except for I forgot to grease the pan and um, I paid the price. Oh man, so you're probably wondering, hey Adam, how are you feeling after eating that drum fish? I feel pretty good. I just got to bed super late, so I'm super tired. Uh, by the time I got to bed, it was mid mm, close to one. I wouldn't be surprised if Fitbit tells me that I got about six. Six hours, five and a half hours of sleep. Slept pretty good through the night though. I didn't wake up like I did the other night. It was nice and cool last night. It didn't, it wasn't humid, it wasn't muggy. That's been the problem lately is it gets muggy and then I can't sleep. There we go guys. Turning off sink. Shut up. There we go guys. The uh, pancake is done. And it turns out this is the same recipe that Greg Doucette uses. I stumbled across it. But, after talking to somebody who bought the anabolic cookbook, turns out, pretty much the same thing. I don't know if the portions are the same, but egg and protein powder makes pancake. I add the baking powder to it to make it fluffy. Uh, not necessary, but I find it's a nice step because look at it. It actually looks like a real pancake and it's dense like a real pancake and it tastes like a real pancake. It's just pure protein with next to, next to no carbs and fat. I'm going to drive this in my face. Alright you guys, it's like quarter after one in the afternoon. <laughs> I didn't do any vlogging today. I've been basically working. I didn't take any of my breaks or my lunch. I'm taking a 45 minute right now because... Okay, we can't see them yet, but... Showed you this morning we're going to have that power outage between the hours of one and two. And it's currently 1.15. Been seeing the hydro trucks bombing up and down the street like crazy. I already put my food on. Can you hear my dog? Can you can you hear him right now? He's just losing it. Okay, I better let him out. But anyway, I made some food before the power fail. Friggin' focus! Anyway, I made some food before the power failure would occur. Turned auto, some chicken. Turned off all my desktops. Anything not running on battery. Because, uh, you know, when they're flicking the power on and off, it can cause a surge and blow shit up. I do have insurance and stuff, but uh, kind of don't want to have to claim it. Because you know, when you claim insurance, your price of insurance goes up, and that's fun. All right, guys, well, it's 3.30, and guess what we never had today? If you guess power failures, you're correct. Everything was working fine. Oh, my God, this monitor is doing it again. I friggin' hate this monitor. Like, it's a good monitor. It shows good, you know, qualities and stuff. It's just every once in a while, you turn it off, you turn it back on, and... It flips the color scheme. Reminds me of an old TRS-80. Literally to fix it, all I... What the hell is that sound? What the hell was that? That was weird. Oh my god, this YouTube video I was watching just started back up. That's what it was. Okay, I gotta stop this. I'm like thinking my freaking roof is caving in or something. Like, I'm like, am I taking on water? Is there an animal in here? I didn't know what the hell to think there. Wow, but anyway, we didn't get a power failure today, so I figured I might as well turn the computer back on, because watch, now that I turned it back on and I even set the time on my stove, they're gonna shut the power off at like four now. Be like, oh! We, even though we're in Eastern, we meant 1 p.m. freaking Pacific because we like to confuse our clients. Welcome to freaking Hydro One. 
So because I basically went all morning without taking a break, I literally have two breaks right now back to back. So I'm going to bust them out both out and then just go back to work at 4 to 5 and then 5 be off and then it's a lift mania. Tonight is a lifting night. Is this a poop or a fart? <laughs> it's a fart. Debating on having a little, a little shake to get things started. And I just walked back into that fart and it really got things started. Wow, I am ripe. Yep, super thought they were gonna knock the power out and they super didn't. Crazy bastards. Tricks are for kids. So yeah, I'm blurry. There we go, I had the camera in auto mode and I hate it in auto mode because it just, you can't do the uh, laser focusing ability where you press the button beside the record and it forces it to fix. Uh, in auto mode, it's like you gotta sit there and stare at it for a second, let it focus. It'd be nice if the wheel in the front didn't, instead of zooming, like you can zoom in. Which I really gotta like, yeah, I say you can zoom in, but it doesn't work. You can zoom in with the wheel. Like, wouldn't it be smarter if that was a focus wheel so you could be like fine tuning your focus instead of being stupid and using it to zoom when you clearly got a button five centimeters away, not even like one centimeter away from the. This is the reason why I don't understand why Canon made that feature. It would have been great as a focus feature, manual focus. That way, there you could tune your shot, hit record, tune your shot on the fly like a DSLR. Holy crap, would that have ever made this a better camera? But whatever, I didn't design it. Oh, it is what it is. I didn't do much today, just worked. Didn't really get many steps in. Sitting at, oh, 1,672 calories out the door at 2,595 stepperonis. That's pretty piss, I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of weak sauce. Normally I hit it harder, faster, longer, but not this time around. This time it was a week, a week, but whatever. We'll crush some cows when we do the workout tonight. And then have some Dan Dan. Go to bed. Yeah, today's not an action-packed vlog. Uh, can't go fishing because I broke my freaking rod. I'm, gonna, I'm waiting for a deal. But like I said, luckily, uh, come this weekend, uh, there'll be no time for fishing because every chance I can bike, I'm gonna bike because I made a commitment and you stick to your freaking commitments, people. I said I would bike as for every dollar that I raised over $500. I'd bike every kilometer extra for every dollar raised. We raised eight hundred dollars. I'm doing eight hundred kilometers. Fitter patter, have at her, hammer down all the way. This weekend, I want to try and knock out as many kilometers as possible. Hoping it's going to be nice. Let's see what the old Google says. Watch, she's going to be like, "It's going to thunderstorm Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, but Tuesday it's going to be pretty." What's going to be the weather this weekend? Friday through Sunday in North Bay, highs will be in the mid twenties, while lows will be in the mid teens. Friday, it'll be partly cloudy. Saturday, it'll be mostly sunny. Sunday, there'll be scattered showers. Okay, so Sunday we might get cocked over, but Saturday? There is no reason why Saturday I can't get out there and at least bang out 100 kilometers of this freaking nonsense, if not more. I'm just gonna have to get out there and give her, ride like I've never ridden before, go full tilt like a Peterbilt, and just really, really freaking lay down a patch. Just hammer down. Bars down, ski bud. Just freaking let her rip. Just, just send it. Just freaking straight up send it, bud. Like no holds barred. Just straight up, straight down. Nothing but clap, clap city, boys. Yeah, I don't even know why I'm trying to talk like a biker or a cyclist or a mountain biker. I can't do it. So tonight I'm gonna do the same thing I did last night. The uh, ground chicken and spinach and kale. Um, I like keeping my meals simple. It's funny, you know, I watch a couple of these videos online of bodybuilders that are cutting and they're complaining that their meals are boring and they're not happy with them. And I'm just like, I killed my taste buds by smoking too many cigarettes back in the day. So honestly, flavor for me is not exactly something I really need. Um, certain things still trigger the old palate, but a lot of things don't. And the nice thing about the chick, the ground chicken and kale and spinach, or the ground chicken and uh, uh, friggin' lettuce that I usually make or whatever, um, it cooks nice, it's pretty filling, it holds you over for the rest of the night, and if it doesn't, just have a bag of popcorn. It's only an extra 200 calories, not a big deal, and you're good to go, so... That's what I do. That's how I do it. It's exciting. 
Oh man, I gotta go upstairs and come out of break and go back into break in like soon. So yeah, that's the battle plan for tonight. Is uh, yeah, they they monitor the break times. That's why I gotta do it like that. So uh, I got some chicken in here. Oh, I got that fish too. <coughs> the uh, drumfish or uh, sheephead. That was actually really tasty. A lot of people on the fishing forums when I mentioned it to them. They're like, some people are like, it's a really misunderstood fish. It's really delicious. And then you got people from the other side of the spectrum saying, you're a disgusting, gross pig, as if you ate that. That's gross. You don't eat fish with lips. See, a lot of people won't eat a bottom feeder, but I see a lot of videos online of people eating catfish. Last time I checked, a catfish is a bottom feeder. So I'm kind of not sure how to take their comment. Is... A sheep's head a bottom feeder? Yeah, they're a scavenger. They're a scavenger fish. They'll eat anything. They'll feed off the bottom, feed off the middle, feed off the top. They literally bite at anything. They're, I guess you could say a trash fish because they do clean up a lot of trash. They will eat anything. I'm pretty sure if I would have opened up the belly on that thing and seen what the hell it was eating before I caught it, we would have found some interesting stuff. I decided not to go that route though, but I digress. I'd eat a catfish if I knew how to clean it. I'd eat, uh, well, I already had white bass and people said that's disgusting. I don't see what the big deal there is. A fish is a fish is a fish is a fish. You know, um, the only fish I've eaten so far was like my friend went out with uh, one of her friends and they caught a bunch of pickerel that one time. She brought it over and I showed that on camera and that's when I was like, I ate that and I'm like, guys, I need to get into fishing. Like this is a thing, I need to catch my own protein. And then I looked up sheep's head. Guys, sheep's head, <laughs> it's on Fitbit. It's totally on Fitbit. And like, here's the stats of a sheep's head. Look at all that protein. That was only in little, little morsels I had last night. 18 freaking grams of protein, boys. Sheep's heads are freaking flexing hard. So, easy to pull. Sure, I broke my rod. I broke my rod on a snag, though. I was reefing on it. I should have just freaking did what I normally do, grab the line and give it a hard pull. And it usually, uh, like not a, a snap tug, but like a hard, gradual pull. What are you, what are you staring at? God, can dogs go senile? Because I think mine is. Anyway, normally in that lake, what I do is I just wrap the line around my hand a couple times, and then gradually just give it some serious torque, and it usually breaks free. And 90% of the time, you're getting snagged on other people's fishing lines. Oh shit! I gotta come out of break and go back in. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just chillax for a minute, drink some Kool-Aid, and watch a Michael Jackson video. I'm kidding. Kool-Aid has too much sugar for me. All right, guys, workout's complete. Friggin', I don't know what the hell tonight was going on, but anybody who weight lifts, you get those some nights where you just you can barely freaking move it, and then other nights, you can just bench press a planet. And tonight was planet press time. Anyway, I just wanted to let the dog out, and I got my frying pan going here. <coughs> I'm going to grab a loaf of meat, if I can, and we're going to cook it up. All right, guys, I call this the vegan surprise. Why? Because it's got lettuce, kale, and spinach, and oh, surprise, there's meat. But yeah, I got one more workout left this week, and that's going to be on Thursday. And then Friday, it's a full day of recovery, but Friday I also have my testing for that job. Yeah, it is what it is. Hopefully that goes good, and we can get ourselves some employment that actually has some benefits like, oh, I don't know, a vacation time and other things. All right, guys, dinner is ready. It's just this, the uh, uh, extra lean chicken. And vegan surprise, that's a, that's a great name for it because like it's all just a bunch of vegetables and then all of a sudden it's like you bite into a piece of chicken it's like surprise I just broke your diet and then they cry because they're eating the flesh of an animal and it makes me laugh because well I'm like that. Surprise! It's not vegan. Alright well, I'm gonna drive this in my face hole and I'll talk to you later. I want to go make some more iced tea. You know, there was a post by Junk Drawer Videos on Facebook talking about how Joe Rogan basically said that video games are a waste of time. I decided to do some digging about it. And I kind of get where he's coming from, but I also kind of get where the audience is raging about it. it. It makes sense, you know, it makes sense. Coming from a guy who used to be a heavy gamer. Like back in the day, do you guys remember every night I would 
go to work and then hurry up and rush home from work or I come home on my lunch break, buy a case of beer, come home from work and then uh, sit upstairs and live stream till like five in the morning every damn night with the guys playing Grand Theft Auto or Ark Survival or Minecraft or whatever other games we were playing at the time, I can't remember. Or I would just log in and play a game myself. Or I'd be up till five in the morning recording for Skaven Games, recording a bunch of videos for that, playing video games all the damn time, playing video games in the day, at night. And it was kind of a wasted era, if you will. Like, I could have been using that time to develop actual skills, like I'm doing now with the weightlifting and learning how to fish. That's a survival technique, you know? World goes to shit in a handbasket. It's nice to know how to be able to catch fish using stuff, you know? Okay, you don't have a fishing line. You can figure it out. As long as you have the basics, you can probably figure something out, rig something together to catch yourself a fish. Me right now? Probably not. I still got a lot of learning to do. But somebody who's an avid hunter fisherman, they have a better chance of survival, so why not try and get that knowledge? Also being physically fit kind of sort of helps in the matter. If you're spending all your time playing video games, you're not really doing any exercise, you're getting pretty soft, and when it comes time to chase down that dinner because it's running away from you, chances are it's going to get away because you will not be able to keep up. And another thing I realized was, you know, I used to spend countless hours playing video games, leveling up in the video games. like. Ark Survival, leveling up a character, leveling up a dinosaur. Why don't I spend that time on me leveling up my meat suit? That makes more sense, right? That's why in, well, <laughs> not really why I started working out. Uh, the whole idea was to lose weight and then I realized, well, I don't want to look like one of those guys that I saw on the internet who basically did keto and they had a gut flap and the end of their stomach looked like a vagina. I wanted to basically grow into my body, replace the fat that I packed in there with muscle, tone up the skin, you know, and not look like gross. So I was like, all right. So I started doing some minor weightlifting here and there using dumbbells. Then I bought the Bowflex and all that. But that's the reason why I started doing the weightlifting and getting into it so heavily is because I wanted to not look like one of those guys who drops all the weight but keeps all the skin. You get me. And I've talked about autophagy in the past and said that the only way you can really get into autophagy is through fasting. Well, I'm full of shit because another way to get into autophagy is cardio. Aerobics, heavy aerobics, will put you in autophagy hardcore because your body's burning a lot of fuel to um, basically hold that steady state if you will, or to basically support you through your activities of cardio. Like for instance, riding a bike versus weightlifting. Weightlifting is does the opposite of cardio, of uh, autophagy. It jacks up mTOR. Can't remember what the hell it's called. It's like something like myo friggin rap mason. I don't know friggin, I'm not a scientist. I just look it up the stuff and go, okay, that makes sense. mTOR is basically when your body goes into protein synthesis and starts creating new cells. Autophagy is the polar opposite. It starts breaking down old damaged cells for building materials, if you will. It's kind of like if you build a dock and you already have an existing dock, half of that dock is still good. The other half's garbage, but you can still salvage some planks from it. So you're ripping all the rotten stuff away to get to the good stuff that you're gonna reuse to build a new dock with new materials. That's autophagy. That's what you're doing. You're basically breaking down the old cells, salvaging the parts from them that you can use, scrapping the rest, pooping it out, breathing it out, whatever, you're expelling it, and then you're making new parts. Anyway, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about video games, Christ. But like the countless hours I wasted back in the day playing farming simulator, Minecraft and all that, uh, making videos for YouTubes and streaming and all that, Sure, it was fun at the time, but if I would have jumped on this bandwagon back in like 2014, 2013, I, I don't know where today I'd be. Like, I don't know how much more ripped I'd be, how much better I'd be mentally and all that. All I know is 2015, 2016, pretty dark times. 2017, things were getting a little better. 2018, things got a lot better. 
But between 2014, we'll say, and 2017, those were some damn dark years of mine. Damn dark years. And I'm impressed people actually hung out, hung out and stuck around. And I've been noticing the comments every once in a while. People coming back and saying, you know, I haven't popped into your channel. It's been a couple of years and I didn't, this video came up my feed and I figured I'd check it out. And holy crap, you've changed and stuff. And yeah, man. Yeah, I'm not the same guy I used to be. Because like now, yeah, I'll play video games from time to time. You know, I'll, uh, I don't drink. I haven't had a drink since March of 2019. Um, don't plan on ever getting back into it. I buy those near beers from uh, the grocery store. They're basically the zero percent alcohol, dealkalized beers. I like those from time to time. Like I'd still love the taste of the beer. I just don't like getting shit faced. I don't see the point in losing my faculties. So I don't smoke weed and I don't drink beers. I don't do drugs. Pretty much don't vape anymore. And by pretty much, I mean I haven't touched it since. I want to say like April, May, somewhere around there. Uh, I just haven't had the need to because I, there's no nicotine in it. So I basically don't have it in front of me and I don't need it. And I can go for bike rides, go fishing, all that. And I don't bring it with me. I never do. Haven't had it in the truck. I haven't had to wash my windows in the truck. That's been beautiful. That's one of the things anybody who's on the vape knows. When you uh, have it in your vehicle and you're vaping away, especially in the winter when you have the defroster going, it's just literally sucking up vape clouds and spraying them all over your window. And it's moisture, but it's moisture in the form of oil, like glycerin. I don't want to say oil, but like it's like a thick syrupy mist that cakes to your window and then it freezes up and it's a pain in the ass to clean off and the only thing that works is rubbing alcohol. But yeah, anyway, I'm supposed to be talking about gaming. See how sidetracked I get? Really gotta talk to the doctor about my ADD or something. I don't know, man. Just seem to get so distracted. The life of a vlogger. But yeah, like uh, last year in 20... When was Like I used to do a lot of the gaming back in 2017 too. We used to get together and play video games. Lots of PUBG and lots of junk like that. But uh, it was mainly on the weekends. We never really did a lot during the week because I was working my job and then I was working the nights and all the shift work. But still, it was like whenever I had time to myself, rather than try to learn a new skill, I decided to frig around and drink beer and play video games. Now, there are times and places for video games. Basically, it's like... Oh, it's a rainy Sunday. I got all my chores done in the house. What am I going to do? Uh, maybe I'll sit down and play a couple hours of Minecraft. Everybody knows Minecraft. You can't play for a couple hours. You sit down, you play it, and all of a sudden it's four in the morning. Game sucks you in just like The Sims. But if you got nothing better to do because the weather's shit, or it's winter, it's minus five billion outside, snowmen are complaining about the cold, you know what? Play some video games. Just get warm, get cozy, turn on your gaming computer, your Xbox, your PlayStation 4, whatever the hell you have. Fire it up, throw a game in, play it for a bit, enjoy it. You know, it is what it is. I can tell you right now the one thing I don't miss is basing everything around streaming and gaming and content creation. Like right now, I'd say that and I'm doing these vlogs every day and I, I go from there, but I don't purposely try to go out of my way to make sure I have the content up. Like I used to be strict about 9 a.m. every day, 9 a.m. every day. And now it's like, I'm like, you know what? I need to go to bed. That's more important than this vlog going up. I'll do it tomorrow if it's up at noon. If it's up at five, who cares as long as it gets up. I haven't missed a day yet, but you know what? It might happen. I might miss a day here and there. Uh, my, you know, another the releasing restrictions. Something might happen some weekend where I might go somewhere or I might camp overnight somewhere and the vlog doesn't go up because I'm putting two vlogs into one. Or like if I go camping, it's going to be like an overnight thing where I go to camp and then I wake up the next day, start the video off, pack up, come home, when I get home, edit, upload, go from there. One of those. Where If that happens, that happens. Not a big deal, right? 
And like it's been brought to my attention, whatever I do, do not announce that I'm going camping because there are weirdos who will come to try and ruin the fun, the joys of the internet. You never know who's watching. But yeah, there is a time and place for, for video games. I don't think they're a complete waste of time, um, but I do think that spending too much time playing video games is a waste of time. Uh, especially if you're sacrificing other things, like if you're giving up life experiences to sit at home and play video game. And my biggest thing is, if you're investing money into a video game that you've already invested money into, what I'm getting at is, like Grand Theft Auto V, for instance, you pay $60 for the sea sucker. Okay, then you start playing online and all your friends are are making money and you're not making as much money and you're like, oh man, they got better cars than you. So you end up dropping $100 into the game to buy virtual money, currency that you'll never see again. They could close that game down tomorrow and you just lost $100. Literally by doing that, you are burning your money. You are setting your money on fire. And I was a victim of this too. I've done it many times on Grand Theft Auto, bought virtual money. Um, I think that was the only game I ever did it on. And it's just, it's stupid. It's like, wh why do you need to have the, the faster car? Okay, you won the race. Does that make you better in life? Does, does that mean that you can race your current car faster? No. You could have put that $100 into upgrades in your current car. Or you could have put that $100 into higher protein, better food for your groceries so you can lift more. You know, stuff like that, where, I don't know. I just, I hate little microtransactions in the games. Like the new version of Minecraft for Windows 10, if you guys check that shit out, what a pile. Like, I remember back in the day, if you wanted a, uh, a mod for the game, you just go and install the mod. Like you install the curse launcher, which made life easier. You go download the mod and it would install and launch for you easy peasy lemon squeezy and you're off to the races where now you have to spend minecraft money which you gotta buy so you're paying forty dollars for the game or whatever it is and then you gotta turn around and pay more money so that you can pay di play different versions of the game that's bullshit those mods used to be freaking free like i get it People actually made the, the mods and want to get some money off of it. But the mod packs that we used to download were just a bunch of things that people created that were all bound together. Like, uh, I can't even think of them now. Like, like, like the, uh, the electricity mod and the um, Tesseract mod and all that. It was all stuff that random people made, not the same person. And then somebody just came along, put them all into a kit, and then fired them up and said, here's my kit, this is what I play, and it's kind of fun, and it works. But now, because it's in Microsoft's hand, and they just want to monopolize on everything, they're charging money for it, and that's a pain in the ass. Which is why I refuse to buy Minecraft for Windows 10. Because, screw that noise. Like, frig off, I'm not paying that. And it turns out I could have had it for free, Minecraft for Windows 10, if I would have, you know, done something back in 2018. But um, I was too busy getting uh, getting weight loss going and getting jacked on lifting and all that fun stuff to really care about video games. And I'm kind of sort of still in the same boat. Not really into the video games. Rather get jacked on lifting. Eat some good quality foods. Keep burning fat and keep getting some lean muscle mass. And keep learning new skills. Learning fishing, that's fun. And this winter I got offers to go ice fishing. That'll be interesting too. It's been a long time since I went ice fishing and back in the day it wasn't really going ice fishing. It was sitting in my friend's ice shack while we all got drunk. Sometimes we check the lines. 90% of the time the fish took off with the bait. So it wasn't ice fishing, it was more like feeding the fish. But yeah, back on my original topic of uh, gaming, I keep... <laughs> Is Joe Rogan right? Is gaming a waste of time? Yes and no. Yes and no. Uh, it's a great way to pass time if you need to pass time. If you got nothing better to do, it's rainy, the weather sucks. Have at it. Play some video games. It's like watching a movie except for you're in control of the story. 
and I like that better than watching a movie. Especially if it's a movie you've already watched 72 times, you know how it plays out. Now you're wasting your time watching the same damn movie over and over again. This with a video game, you have some control, you can do some things, and it's a great way to just kill some time if you're needing to kill some time. But, like I say, if you're passing up living life to sit at home and level up a virtual character versus leveling up in real life, then yes, it's a waste of time and you probably should pack it in. You know, like a lot of these kids that are stuck on their Nintendo Switches and their their Playstations and all that. And that's all they do is they play their Xbox and their Playstations and when they lose they throw temper tantrums and break TVs and stuff. Like, if I was a parent in that situation, I'd be like, alright, that's enough. Like, you're done with the video games. That's the, You're done with that. This is over. And then I would start, like, introducing them to not electronics. Try and get them out of that because that kid's gonna grow up to be a jackass and... You know, when they're a jackass and they're young, it's one thing. They're little, you can deal with them. But when they're a full-grown, blown adult, like, seriously? Do you want that jackass to be 6'2 and being a jackass? No. No, you don't. Because chances are, he's going to do something stupid, get bitchy moany, freak out on somebody, and end up in prison. So, yeah. Yeah, take the video games away from them when they're young. And, uh... Let them level up in real life. Hey, anyway, people, that's all I got for today. It's not much, but it's something. Holy frig. I don't know what the hell happened to Hydro One or North Bay Hydro. They're totally supposed to shut the power off today. I saw the trucks going up and down the street. We had like three fire trucks. They were, they were totally prepared for like something really bad to happen, and I didn't even see a flicker in the power system. I was totally expected to be on, in, in darkness forever. Well, for an hour. And by darkness, I mean under the sunlight because it was midday anyway whatever thanks for watching guys hopefully you enjoyed today's video if you did click the like button any questions comments concerns down below they go and until next time guys thanks for watching and peace the frig out sit stupid sit good dog